Happy? Not happy? That's the question. Hey everybody, Carolina Gun Guy here. We are going to take a look at the Fiaci FL11 LED Tactical Flashlight that you can buy right now for $29 on Amazon. This is actually the FL11 MB LED Tactical Flashlight, with the difference being that the MB stands for a matte black and the plain FL11 is more of a shiny finish. Quick specs, it has a max of 1200 lumens, weighs about 4 ounces. It's advertised to illuminate up to 200 yards with 4 hours of lasting illumination. It's rated as water resistant. Now I've actually been looking at the shiny version of this for a while and I had it in my Amazon cart for a bit but I never bought it because well there's only so much that I can buy, only so many packages that I can get in the mail before my wife starts getting suspicious and asking what's in them so I have to spread out my purchases. Then Fiaci contacted me and asked if I'd be interested in reviewing one of their products. I told them, I would love a chance to be able to review some product as long as you're aware that I will provide an honest review of any product provided. Now as I mentioned earlier, this light is currently under $29 with the deal that's currently being run. It has about 14 reviews only, but that's because this is the newer matte black version. You can see the shiny version for $34 has 4.5 stars with over 200 reviews. There's also a version that comes with an M-Lock mount that'll run you about 40 bucks, again with good reviews, and possibly a better mount. Now onto the flashlight, but before I get there, please hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And if you are, oh, thanks for coming back. So it comes in this box, and it includes two of these uh, 18650 2200 milliamp batteries. You can see it right there. It has one battery charger right here. Um, it has the actual flashlight and a pick rail mount, which I'll show you in a second. And it comes with two of the tail caps, one of them being the standard on off and one also the pressure switch one here. I'll show you more of it in a second. But I have it mounted here on my Ruger AR556 pistol. And I had a small piece of pick rail hanging around. You can see it right there. So if you don't have that, you'll need to get one unless you want to mount it on an existing piece of pick rail. So I attached that to the M-Lock spot on the side, and then I mounted the rail mount to the pick rail. I set the flashlight in, and I tightened the screws with the included hex key. I didn't show it in the box, but it's in there. There's a hex key also in there. So I haven't mounted the pressure switch, because honestly, I don't really feel much of a need for it. If I'm going to have the flashlight on, I want it to be on continuously, so I don't need the... I don't feel the need for the switch. The switch itself does work, though. I've tested it. If I can get it to focus, I'll show you a little bit more. But um, it seems to be pretty good. You can hear it clicking. Listen. Click, 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 click. I'm just kidding. That is the on-off one. Man, it won't focus. On-off. And this one is the one you hold down when you want it on. Press to turn on. Release, turn off. So it does seem to be pretty good. But I just don't feel a need for it. Uh, now before I use the, the flashlight, I did charge the battery fully first and then I did some testing. I wanted to see A, how long the flashlight would last with continuous use under normal circumstances, and B, how hot it got. So I took my measurements, and here's what I found. So I made this graph to show my findings. You can see that the light lasted for about three and a half hours of continuous use. It started to dim noticeably around the two and a half hour mark, and then by the three and a half hour mark it just wasn't worth continuing the test, as you definitely would not use the flashlight with the luminosity that dim. So I would say you get about two and a half hours of flashlight use out of it, continuous use. I didn't test it with non-continuous use, you know, 15 minutes on, once an hour. I didn't do anything like that. so. I would have to imagine that it would last longer if it weren't being heated excessively due to continuous use, but I'm not positive. My testing does not show that it holds up to the four hour claim of illumination. Two and a half hours is about what you'd get. Now getting back to the heat here in the graph, you see, actually no, let me go to the manual. There's a little warning in the manual right here that says the light head will be really hot when continuously illuminate more than one hours. Please be careful. So, how hot? Get back to the graph. So, I tested both the actual glass in front and the metal 
that surrounds the, the front glass, the, uh, that surrounds the light head. And after half an hour, it was up to 109 degrees Fahrenheit. For the glass, the metal was at 105. Then the glass continued to get hotter, 121 after an hour, while the metal cooled down. The metal actually started at 105, and it got cooler until the end. The glass took a while to get hot, and it reached its max temperature of 121 after about an hour in, and then it continually cooled off. At the three and a half hour mark, I didn't actually test the temperatures. I just put 74, that's about the ambient temperature of the room. So that's about where this started, and that's what I put for the end. So you can see it does get pretty hot, but it cools off pretty quickly because the light starts to dim pretty dramatically. So with all that said, how does the light look and how bright is it? Well, let me just give you another close-up look of how it is as it is mounted here. I mean, it's matte black, so it matches my gun here. It's hard to really show you here in the daytime how the light is. I mean, you can turn it on, you can, it's just going to mess up the focus. So what I did was I went outside and I got a picture, or not a picture, I got some video in my backyard at night to test it. And here's the video I got of that. So I'm in my backyard right now. Uh, sun went down probably about half an hour ago, so it's not completely dark, but uh, you know, you can see some, some light spilling through the trees there, but it's pretty dark. It's dark enough. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the light on. The shed back there. You can see it's got a pretty good hot spot. I'd estimate that hot spot. Um, I'm right at seven yards away right now. I'd estimate it to be about four feet across. I think the, the panels right there are four feet wide. That's right about touching edge to edge of the panel. So it's a pretty good hot spot, a little bit of a corona around it, and the spill goes out. <clears throat> it's hard to see, but it goes out quite a ways. You can see it right there where it goes to. So this light is pretty bright in the backyard. I'll go ahead and shoot around. That tree over there is about 25 yards away, and it lights up the yard pretty well. So you can see that this is a pretty good light overall. Now just to explain real quick, the hot spot is the brightest part of the flashlight. On this flashlight, it's about four feet across. The corona is going to be the spot that's a little bit around the hot spot. Like hold your thumb up to the sun and you'll still see light coming around it. That's the corona. I'd estimate that to be about five to five and a half feet on this flashlight. So there we go. My thoughts? There's not much of anything I don't like with this $29 rail-mounted light. I have some concerns about the threading around the tail cap. I don't know how well it will hold up if you constantly remove and replace the battery. And I mentioned the concern about it doesn't last four hours like it claimed, but it gets two and a half hours of good brightness. But other than that, it's a pretty good light. I'm going to keep it on my gun because I don't feel the need to spend a hundred bucks or more on anything else just because it's made by Olight or Streamlight. This works well for me and I think Fiatchi has a good budget-minded light on the market. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. God bless and I'll see you next time.